Hey guys, it's Lisa. Um, this video is going to be basically um, my summer heat makeup survival kit. <laughs> like what I've been using when it's been super hot, like today when it's literally 100 degrees, not with the heat index. Um, so I, this is, I'm basically just going to kind of quickly go through like what I have been absolutely loving and kind of, I've been neglecting the rest of my makeup and just been using this stuff, basically. Um, I didn't bring out everything that I use every day, like I didn't bring out like my bronzer and stuff because it's, I mean, I just use like a powder bronzer and dust it in the areas that I want. The other stuff is kind of like, I've been using it because it's hot. So, I'm just going to get started um, first because I love them so much. I'm going to talk about the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Shadow Creams. I know I mentioned them before, but I have two new ones, <laughs> and these are what I've been basically living in um, on my face. It's all I've been putting on my face. I have Antique Gold, which I'll just show you real quick. Antique Gold. Um, it's number four. Uh, number 20 in Gold Dust. This one's kind of sheer, but you can build it up to be like a really pretty gold color. Um, I wore these two together today. Um, I put the gold dust all over my lid and then I literally, like, I just use my fingers, I use my ring fingers, and I press it into my lid, and then with the antique gold, I just literally did this today, tapped it into my crease and kind of buffed it a little bit, and then put my liner on, which I'll show you in a second, and that's all I did, and then I ran out the door, and it lasts all day. So I can't really say anything better about it, I mean, it, it they last, and they're, they're awesome. Um, this is one of my new ones, it's the Mochaccino, number 24. This is what I wanted from Chanel, but they didn't have it, basically. Um, I have them on my hand, I'll show you in a second. Um, and then the last one, which I've had, this was the first one that I got, is Pink Pearl. So, together, I mean, these would even make a really pretty eyeshadow pot. I'm going to put a little bit more of the gold dust on, so it'll show up on my hand, maybe. It is kind of, just because my camera is kind of crappy, and it is kind of sheer what I had it on right, right then. So hopefully you guys can see kind of what they look like. Here's the Mochaccino, um, Pink Pearl, Gold Dust, and Antique Gold. So they, I mean, they last a really long time. I mean, and they once they set, they don't really budge. Um, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. Look, they don't budge. But they really don't. <laughs> Once they set, I mean, if I really scrubbed at them, yeah, they would. But, I mean, I don't have to worry about, like, oh, if my eye itches, I'm going to, other than my liner, like, oh, I'm going to take it all off if I have an itch, like, right here. So, I've been living in these this summer. Um, love, love, love these Estee Lauder Double Wear. I don't know, stay in place shadow creams. There we go. I don't know. They have a long name. So, those are basically what I've been using on my eyes. Plus, um, I've been using a shadow as a liner. This is my favorite basically what all I've been using. It's a Laura Mercier shadow in Noir, which is basically just a black. Um, I like powder better than pencil or cream as liners, just because these, this tends to last longest on me. Um, I know, I watched Lisa Eldridge's video on like summer or beach makeup or something, and she said like use a liquid foundation because powder will melt or something like that, and I didn't understand that. I mean, she's really talented, and I mean, that's her job, and I'm sure she knows what she's talking about, but on me, I've never had a powder, anything melt off of me, so I wasn't quite sure, I don't know, but for me, the powder foundations are what I really like to wear on really hot days. I didn't today, um, just because I didn't have time to, like, do all the buffing and stuff, but this is, one of these is what I use if I use a powder foundation. One is the Bare Minerals, um, or... The Lancome Mineral Foundation is actually really nice. Um, I have to do, I can do less buffing with this, and it, it's faster to put on than the Bare Minerals. And actually, I like the cup, the finish of this better, but um, it's a little bit more expensive. I wonder if there's a weight difference: 0.35 ounces and 0.28 ounces. So there's a little bit more. I mean, obviously the package is bigger, but yeah nice. Otherwise, if I am using a liquid foundation, typically what I've been using is the Vita Lumiere Aqua. And just because it's so light and so comfortable to wear, um, I don't mind this in the heat. And I set it with a little powder or a setting spray, which I'll show you what I, well, here. I either use the Makeup Forever HD powder or the Urban Decay setting spray, or both. 
Usually I've just been using this though. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it helps a lot. Definitely. Um, yeah, that's that's my basics. Just like a I ba when it comes what it comes down to is I don't like to feel like I have much on my face at all. Um, lightweight foundation or a light powder foundation. Um, long wearing cream eyeshadows. Um, that are true to what they say, like long wear, stay in place, these stay in place, and a powder liner. That's basically what I've been using. And I don't, I'm not a fan of um, waterproof mascaras. Um, if I'm going to go to the lake and ski and stuff, I just don't wear makeup. So, because I think waterproof mascara is really harsh on my lashes, and I'd just rather not wear anything. I mean, if anything, I'll put a little bit of, like, same, like, waterproof liner. But even then, I, I just don't wear makeup if I know I'm going to be in the water getting wet so mascara I just wear um, my uh, what's it called Dior uh, Extase, Ecstasy I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it but it's, it's the one in the gold tube it's my favorite I'm actually needing a new tube it's drying out but that is like my go-to mascara so I, I don't use a waterproof mascara but basically long wearing shadows lightweight foundation a setting spray or setting powder and a liner that won't budge that's my Summer Survival Kit. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.